Palma, Canary Islands, underwent volcanic unrest which culminated in its largest historical eruption. We study this unrest along 2021 using Interferometric Synthetic Aperture Radar INSAR, and a new improved interpretation methodology, comparing achieved results with the crustal structure. We reproduce the final phase of La Palma volcanic unrest, highlighting a shallow magma accumulation which begins about 3.5 months before the eruption in a crustal volume characterized by low density and fractured rocks. Our modeling, together with our improved pictures of the crustal structure, allows us to explain the location and characteristics of the eruption and to detect failed eruption paths. These can be used to explain post-eruptive phenomena and hazards to the local population, such as detected gases anomalies in La Bambia and Puerto Neos. Our results have implications for understanding volcanic activity in the Canaries and volcano monitoring elsewhere, helping to support decision-making and providing significant insights into urban and infrastructure planning in volcanic areas. It has been volcanically active for at least 4 million years and has had seven eruptions in the last 500 years, including the 2021 one. The island has an approximately triangular shape and consists of two large volcanic bodies, the older one located to the north consists of a large, more or less circular, volcanic complex, Northern Volcanic Complex, NVC, with a central depression, Taburiente Caldera, and a younger elongated volcano, developed along the southern portion of the island 3, Fig. 1. NVC is formed by several superimposed volcanic structures, Garafia, Taburiente, Cumbre Nueva and Bignedo edifices, 1.7 to 0.4 ma. The southern region has been destroyed by large landslides and intense erosive processes. Those processes gave rise to the Taburiente Caldera 13, 14, at the bottom of which we can observe rocks from the island's submarine growth phase, 3 to 4 ma, currently elevated to 1,500 meters of altitude, as well as plutonic rocks formed by the multiple magmas that rose and cooled in the crust. All recent on land volcanic activity has taken place in this edifice also including all historical eruptions, Fig. 1. C. Fernandez et al. 3, and references therein, for a more complete geological and volcanological description of parameters to timely constraint the location, geometry, orientation and size of potential shallow magmatic storages. Combining the inversion results with the cortical structure model, we obtain information on the possible location of the eruption, assisting with the discrimination between fissure and central eruptions. All these aspects will be useful in future events in La Palma, the Canary Islands. Islands.